And so, as always, you don't have to get the movements perfect. Just follow along the best you can. I'll be your mirror image. All right, and then you can have a seat at any time. I do cue the breathing, but you can always just breathe normal. All right, and we'll begin with the feet together or as close as you can. The hands can come to the lower abdomen and just taking a few deep breaths in and out. As you breathe in, the belly expands. And as you breathe out, the belly returns toward the spine. Abdominal breathing. Just taking a moment to really feel into the body, getting out of the head. Just feeling the sensations, feeling the breath. Coming into the present moment where we can find peace. As you breathe in, the belly expands. And as you breathe out, the belly returns toward the spine. And then on the next inhale, you can hold the breath at the top just for a moment, and then let it out with a big sigh. Just letting out tension and stress. And the hands can float down by the sides. And as you breathe in, the arms float up. They circle in front as if you're gathering in energy, bring it into the heart, and then send it down through the body towards the earth, sinking the chi. Breathing in, gather. Breathing out, directing down. Nice and easy, nice and slow. One more time, sink the chi. And then step one foot out to the side, either foot. The arms float up in front. The arms float down, the knees and hips soften. Breathing in, rising up. Breathing out, letting go. Softening down. It's like your arms are resting on a wave in the ocean. The tide rolls in, the tide rolls out. One more time, open the door. The start of the journey. This time the arms float out to the sides like you're spreading your wings. The arms float down, the palms face up. They float up the midline of the body, pressing up overhead, and then floating out and down, holding up the sky. Breathing in, rising up, breathing out, floating down. And take as many breaths as you need. Just keep on breathing. Feeling into the body, opening the shoulders, opening the chest, decompressing the spine. One more time, holding up the sky. This time the hands float up to the heart. One hand pushes up, the other pushes down, connecting sky and earth. And then switching sides. You can keep the spine neutral, or if you want, you can do a side bend this next time. Just easing in nice and soft. One more time, connecting sky and earth. And then the bottom hand comes up, push to the corner. The other hand pushes behind. Coming back to center, push to the other corner. The dragon spreads its wings. Nice and easy, gentle rotation. And then one more time. And then from here, circle in front and hug the tree right out in front and soften. And then from here, the arms open wide. This hand here scoops under, step in as you catch the moon. Step out to the corner. And as you step out, the bottom hand tosses the moon into the sky and then circle it around again, parting the wild horse's mane, taking your time, and as always, don't worry about getting it perfect. Just keep on moving. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, parting the horse's mane. And then from here, the bottom hand comes up, the wrists cross right up top. Then the arms float down. They circle out and around, back up top. The princess on the mountaintop, breathing in, breathing out. 
Just coming up as much as you can comfortably. Just letting go of striving. Being here is enough. One more time, the princess on the mountaintop. And then step the front foot back in, hug the tree right out in front. From here, the arms open. And then this hand here scoops under, step in as you catch the moon. Step out to the other corner. The bottom hand guides the moon into the clouds. The other hand pushes down. And then circle it around again, parting the horse's mane, creating tranquility out of chaos. Breathing in. Breathing out one more time, parting the horse's mane. Then the bottom hand comes up, the wrists cross. The arms float down, circling out and around, back up top. The princess on the mountaintop. Breathing in. <sighs> Breathing out. Once again, opening the shoulders, opening the chest. Sending energy to the heart and lungs. One more time, the princess on the mountaintop. And then step the front foot back in, hug the tree, and soften. From here, the arms open wide. Then this hand scoops under, the other one on top. Once again, catch the moon. Then the bottom hand floats up overhead. The other hand floats down by the hip. And then circle it around again, just the arms at first. The bottom hand floats up, the other hand floats down, and then leaning over to the side going up. This time, as the bottom hand comes up, the opposite foot touches down in front, tapping down the ball of the foot. Step back in, catch the moon. Step back out, white crane spreads wings. Taking your time, breathing in, Breathing out. All right, one more time. Very nice. This time, step in, catch the moon, and then we'll spin the moon. So, switching sides. And then the bottom hand floats up, leaning over to the side going up. Circle it back around. Once again, just the arms. Taking your time, no rush. Nowhere to go. Bottom hand floats up. And it circles back around. This time, as the bottom hand comes up, the opposite foot touches down in front, tapping down the ball of the foot. Stepping back in. Catch the moon. Step back out. White crane spreads wings. Breathing in, breathing out, taking your time, really feeling into the body, feeling the breath. One more time, white crane spreads wings. And then step in, embrace the moon, the arms open up wide, then the hands float down. The backs of the hands face each other, they float up the midline of the body and then drift out to the sides, the fountain. Breathing in, rising up, breathing out, letting go. So we move like water, soft but powerful. How much can you let go? Breathing in, breathing out one more time, the fountain. And then reverse direction with the arms, circle in front, hug the tree. And then from here, this hand drops down and then toss away. The other hand circles on top as you step in. And then both hands together, pushing down and waving in as you soften down, rising up, letting go. Breathing in, <sighs> breathing out. This time, step out to the corner, and as you step out, the bottom hand brushes past the knee, the top hand pushes to the corner. The top hand circles down, the bottom hand circles up, coming back to the beginning. Brush knee 
and push. Once again, don't worry about getting it perfect. As long as you're moving, I'm happy. It's tuning into the body. How mindful can you be? Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, brush, knee, and push. And then the bottom hand comes up, the palms face up, the hands draw in, and then circle out and around. The backs of the hands face each other, and then spiral the palms back up. The mama bear gathers her cups, circle it around, spiraling the energy, feeling the flow. Almost like you're moving through the water. One more time, Mama Bear gathers her cubs, and then step the front foot back in, circle the arms all the way around and hug the tree. And then from here, this hand drops down, toss away. The other hand circles on top as you step in, both hands together, pushing down and waving in as you soften. Breathing in, rising up, breathing out, softening down. One more time, just letting go. This time, step out to the corner, and as you step out, the bottom hand brushes past the knee, top hand pushes to the corner, top hand floats down, bottom hand floats up. Back to the beginning, weaving it together, brush, knee, and push. Circle it around, taking your time, and breathing. Nice and easy. One more time, brush, knee, and push. Bottom hand comes up, palms face up. The hands come in, circle out and around. Backs of the hands face each other, then spiral the palms back up. Mama bear gathers her cups once again. Just tuning into the body, just being here now. All right, one more time. And then circle around and hug the tree, step the front foot in, and soften. And then from here, once again, this hand drops down, tosses away, but this time, the hand waves in and then presses forward. The other hand withdraws to the hip and then toss away, other side. The hand waves into the center, and then presses forward, repulsing the monkey, calming the monkey mind. Breathing in, breathing out. You can even lean into it if you want, shifting the weight. One more time, repulsing the monkey. This time, both arms drift all the way over to the side. Then they float down, and then they drift out to the corner. They circle all the way around towards the hip, and then out to the other corner, making a figure eight right in front of the body, polishing the table. It's like your hands are gliding on a nice, smooth surface with a gentle rotation. And once again, don't worry. Well, getting it perfect, you can simply just drift side to side. It's all about soothing the nervous system, like a moving meditation. It's tuning into the sensations that you feel in the body. One more time, polishing the table. And then circle all the way around and hug the tree right out in front. And then from here, the arms open wide. And then this hand here scoops under. Step in as you catch the moon. And then step out to the side. As you step out, the bottom hand floats up until it's parallel with the earth. The other hand floats down. And then circle it around again, warding off, lifting and expanding. 
One more time, circle it around, ward off. And then the bottom hand scoops under, fingertips slide down, circle it around again, rolling back. Or sometimes called yielding, going with the flow. One more time, roll back. And then this time, toss it away, right out to the side. Then the hand folds in, pressing palm to palm, shift the weight forward. Slide down, toss away, fold it in, press forward. One more time, the press. And then from here, the hands separate, draw the hands in towards the heart and push pushing the mountain, breathing in, breathing out. One more time, pull in and push. And then sit back and open, wipe across the horizon like you're wiping the slate clean. Then step in, catch the moon, other side, step out, bottom arm floats up until it's parallel with the earth. Other hand floats down, Circle it around again, warding off. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, ward off. Then the bottom hand scoops under, fingertips slide down. Circle it all the way around, rolling back receiving the energy, and then giving it back. Just giving and receiving. And then this time we'll toss it away, right off to the side. Then the hand folds in, pressing palm to palm, shift the weight forward, slide down, toss away, fold in, press forward. One more time, nice and soft, the press. And then the hands separate, draw the hands in towards the heart and push. Pushing the mountain once again, shifting the weight, pulling in, pushing out. One more time. And then sit back and open, wipe across. We'll do each movement one time, grasping the bird's tail. Step in, catch the moon, step out, ward off. Roll back, toss away, fold it in, press, release, draw in, and push. Sit back and open, wipe across, other side grasping the bird's tail. Step in, catch the moon, step out and ward off. Roll back, toss away, press, release, draw in and push. Sit back, this time hug the tree, bring it to center, and soften. From here, the arms open up wide, the hands float down by the sides as you step one foot in, coming on the ball of the foot, and the arms float out to the sides like a beautiful bird, the crane. And you can keep your foot down, or this time you can lift it up if you like, touching down as needed. And then the arms can float up and over just as much as you can. And then stepping down, other side. Just the arms at first, the crane. Breathing in, breathing out. This time lifting your leg if you like. You can always touch down. It's okay to wobble too. <laughs> this time you can reach up and over if you like and then stepping down. And then circle all the way around and hug the tree. 
Step one foot out a little bit wider. And then from here, the arms open wide. The wrists cross down low. Then as you rise up, the arms open overhead, floating all the way out and down. Gathering the energy from the earth, giving it back to the sky above, harmonizing yin and yang. Circulating the energy, the blood flow throughout the body, creating healing and vitality. Rising up and then softening down one more time, harmonizing yin and yang. And then from here, reverse direction with the arms, circle in front, hug the tree, step one foot in a little bit closer. And then from here, both arms drift over to the side and down. Once again, just a nice gentle sway side to side. Ah, <sighs> breathing. And then from here, making two loose fists. One fist comes overhead, the other one by the waist. And then switching sides, shifting the weight, leaning over to the side, going up. This time you can lift a leg if you like. Touching down as needed. Other side, the tiger hugs its head. Touching down or lifting up. You can even look out to the side. Nice and easy. And once again, it's okay to wobble. One more time, the tiger hugs its head. Then the arms float out to the sides, the hands float down, circle around, hug the tree right out in front, and then step one foot out a little bit wider. From here, the hands come together in prayer position in front of the heart as you soften down. Then the fingertips guide the way as they go out to the side. And then they scoop around as they go out to the other side. The dragon pierces through. It's piercing right through the clouds. Shifting the weight, just a gentle rotation. It's going easy. It's more about how mindful you can be. Tuning really into the body. Like you don't want to miss a thing. And then if you want, you can allow the hands to slowly drift up towards the sky. Just as much as you can that feels comfortable, like you're going up towards the mountain peak. Going on a little journey. And then maybe going down the mountain trail. So starting to gradually go down side to side, getting a little bit lower, and then tuning into the body and moving any way that would feel good for you. The spontaneous dragon. Just tuning into the body, let the energy guide you. Just letting go of thoughts, tuning into the body's wisdom. And you can always just continue to go side to side. Let's do one more, the spontaneous dragon. And then release, round out as you hug the tree, step one foot in a little bit closer. And then from here, the arms open wide, the hands float down, the palms face up, one hand on top of the other. And then this hand floats all the way up and over, down the center line of the body. Other side, breathe in as the hand floats up, breathing out, centering. Calming the heart, calming the mind. Once more, centering. This time, both arms float all the way up and over, just as much as you can. The hands float down to the waist as you soften down. And then circle in front, as if you had a big ball in front of the body, scooping around and under, coming back up to the heart and down. One more time, opening the heart, rising up, 
softening down. This time making a diamond shape with the hands in front of the heart and then press out, sending out all your loving kindness to the world. May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they live with ease. And then turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. And the hands can float down to the lower abdomen. You can step your feet together or as close as you can. You can close your eyes or keep a soft gaze letting your body rock and sway ever so gently, bamboo in the wind. Just feeling just all the sensations in the body that arise. Feeling the sensations of the breath. And then bring your attention into your heart, creating an inner smile, expressing gratitude to yourself for being here today. And if your eyes were closed, you can slowly open them. The hands can come together in front of the heart. And we can finish with a bow.